Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Here we've got two teams who will look to their running backs to try to control the pace of the game. It's Jackson's Falcons going up against Moreno's Dolphins. So let's go now to Atlanta, Georgia, where Jim and Phil are on the call. It's the NFL on EA Sports. The preseason is upon us as we join you from the Georgia Dome. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza, this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the lights. I think you said it right. Center stage, players love it. Anytime you turn on the lights, they know it's special, and it brings out the emotion out of these players. And also, though, let's don't forget, the fans, they've been here all afternoon getting ready, so we're going to have a loud crowd also. Now as we go to the field, it's Marcus Thigpen back deep for the kickoff. Matt Bosher ready to kick it away to start the game. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Takes it on the counter into the open. Spins out of the defender's clutches. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. Second down, three for the first. He's got the catch. In on the stop. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it, you throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. From the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. And incomplete pass that time as he threw it short. Second down now. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Catch made. And the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed, and he is going to make the perfect throw down the field. Easy completion that time for the quarterback. Third and five still to go, even after that last completion. the gun pulls it in and he's taken down but not until he picks up the first well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times it's a passing league so we all know that so you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Landry's lined up now as a slot receiver. Snapping out of the gun. Looks to his left. Reaches out and snatches it. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Second down after that pass play. Let's go. Offense lines up here. Thomas is going to secure the handoff. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here 
and keep him from scoring a touchdown. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Daniel Thomas is in Let's the go. backfield. Midway, second quarter. Breaks the tackle. He gets into the end zone, capping off the long run. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? all alone quarterbacks love play action passes especially on first down because the defense sometimes they're expecting run you fake it easy completion down the field quarters formation here for the defense we'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun got the completion This defense, they can react as fast as anybody in the NFL, and they're even quicker once they get in the red zone, so they're backed up. And that time, the ball is thrown and caught, but there's nowhere to run. They are all over. Got the completion. Landry is tackled down after a gain of seven. Number three. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Offense lines up here. And the give now to Daniel Thomas. Thomas tackled down. Well, defenses love it when they get you inside the five-yard line because it's hard to deceive them. So they can just go after the offense and be aggressive. First down here after the run. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Will go ground. This run goes nowhere. Stuck for a loss of four. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. They'll try over again on second down. Good piece of tackling. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course, it'll be a touchdown. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. He breaks the play. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Miami. Oh, what a good job there by the offense. Third and goal. And what do they do? They run the football against the defense. And nice job getting the touchdown. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. And he's forced to the ground. That does it for the first half. Falcons trail in this one. This is the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's get ready now to take a look back at the first half. The Falcons haven't played their best football and trail because of it. The Dolphins will want to come out after the half and really put... The A 
offense lines up here. Get ready. Go to the three, three, three. First down at the 20. Very nearly intercepted. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Daniel Thomas is in the backfield from the shotgun. Sticks to his hands. Landry's marked down after a gain of four. Number three. What a nice lob pass that time by the quarterback. Just tremendous touch. He just floats it in there like a feather and gets it done. Third and six. He's wide open for the grab. Matthews is brought down after picking up 14 on the play. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Moreno's lined up as the single back. He'll throw it over the middle. Matthews has got the grab on the touch pass. A lot of people talk about time of possession. Sometimes it's overblown, but in a situation like this, where you're winning a close game in the second half, you want to control the tempo, control the clock, keep getting those first downs. First down here after the completion. Quarters formation here for the defense. Daniel Thomas carries the football. Charging ahead. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. Nothing like a good trap play. When you play defensive linemen who like to get up the field a little too quick, let them get up the field, have a pulling guard, knock them out, and then run in there behind them and get those yards. Double tight end formation. That's an interception. the play to an end. Yep. First down at the 20. Almost intercepted. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Get ready. Second and ten. Intercepted. Touchdown, Atlanta. Defense. They take a chance. Nickel formation for the defense here. Out of the gun. And, but the hit knocks the ball out. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee you the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. From the gun. And there's a drop. Simpson is not able to come up with the catch. And a lot of times when you see a receiver drop a pass, they take their eyes off it. That's one thing. Or they're just trying to get it in their hands too quick. Why? Because they're trying to make some yards after the catch. That was the problem that time. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities, what you can do on the offensive Three. side. Good Three. job by the offense. Daniel Thomas is in the backfield. The Dolphins take it from the 33. Makes the reception, and they bring him down at the 33-yard line. So they complete one, and still it's second down. 
the Dolphins are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Out to the left. Thomas looking for space. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. Big first down by the offense that time here in the second half. They're losing a close game, and you get that first down. It just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. Split backfield here. First down at the 45. Brings it into his body. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Moreno's lined up in a single back formation. On the money, Gaines, 16. The Dolphins look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Down a couple points here in the second half. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. On the money. He's tackled at the 28. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. Taking off. Games 12. The Dolphins just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down by a few points in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Sims is playing out of position in the backfield here. Breaks out of the tackle. That'll be another new set of downs after that pickup for a first. Nice job that time by the offense, getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. What a drive this has been. Let's go. First and goal from the four. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down. Marching down the field and taking their time. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Miami. That was a sweet touchdown right there. Just a nice throw by the quarterback. He put it right on the money. The receiver makes the catch. Beautiful touchdown. Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. Continues to give Thomas tackled down. Thomas is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Two minutes to go in the second half. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Thomas handed the football. Peters 
is there that time for the tackle. And they're going to call a timeout here to stop the clock. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Throws to the right. Almost intercepted that time. Well, Jim, I saw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it. You just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on this break? Brandon Fields called on now to punt it. Arenas will try to return this one. That'll stop the play right there. Sims is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. First down at the 20. Makes the catch. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. The Dolphins will need to get to the 37-yard line in order to give their kicker a chance at the field goal. The Falcons come out in the nickel. He'll keep it on the play fake. Looking across the middle, underneath, but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the receiver. Disrupt his rhythm, disrupt the timing, and what do you get? Another incompletion. Split backfield here. Let's go! The Dolphins from the 27. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. They're set to punt it away now. Jim, I'll tell you, not too often in the NFL do you see a situation like this. The offense comes out there, they run four straight plays, don't get a first down, and off the field they come. First down at the 42 to Williams. Had it for just a second, but then it came out on contact. Boy, that was some hit that time that knocked the ball out. Yeah, it was a good hit, but listen, you can tell the receivers expecting that big hit. I don't know why. You're going to get hit no matter what, so you might as well just Go ahead and catch the football. Bad job by the receiver that time. Get ready. Get ready. Second down and 10. And they'll end up losing four here. The Dolphins, they run the football on second down because they want to get third in manageable. If you do that, there's many plays to choose from on the offensive side. But now you've got third and long, and that list is shrunk down to just a couple plays you can call in this situation. Third and a long way to go. Finds his mark. This time, they failed to pick up the first on third down. A rare occurrence here today. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The offense is back on the field here with fourth and three to go. Let's go! will go ground. This is going to set up a change of possession. Good job by the defense that time. Offense lines up here. First down at the 20. 
Hughes has got it. First down. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. First down and 10. Thomas going to take it on the counter, and he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. When you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses and the counter run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. Second and four. Thomas is taking the handoff. And the tackle is made at the 41. It's third down coming up. The defense comes out of the dime. Back to him. Got a little crease. The tackle was made. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Moreno's out in the slot. They'll go shotgun here. Throws the pass. And this will go incomplete. Got a hand on the pass and knocked it away. To be a great defensive back in the NFL now, you have to read the receiver. When those hands go up, you do the same, and that time the defense knocks the football down. Second and ten. Thomas has got it on the handle. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. Play number six coming up on this drive. They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. Tackle just three yards short of the first. The Falcons call the timeout. We'll step aside and be back in just a moment. After that timeout by the defense, play is ready to resume. Second down here. Full house formation. They call his number once more, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Falcon, call for the timeout. We'll take a break with them. We'll be right back after these messages. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Daniel Thomas is in the backfield. Again, they'll lean on him. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. Thomas is able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Danielle Bellini and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game. <laughs>